the Truman baseball team finished up their 10-game homestand this afternoon as they took on the conference's worst team, Lincoln. To the diamond we go, where the Bulldogs are down 3-0 at this point. But two outs here as they put on a rally, and uh, RBI double by Steven Rose puts the dogs, dogs down still 3-2. But next batter, Devin Myers hits this to left field. It's a long run for the left fielder. He has it, but drops the ball. The tying run scores. The Bulldogs would take, a, take game one, four to three. In game two, the Bulldogs scored three runs in each of the last three innings, winning nine to three. The women were on the diamond as well. Bottom three, Bridget Skade, you can touch them all. A grand slam. At this point, it was seven to nothing. What's good offense without any defense? Well, pitcher Kelsey Dorsey threw a no-hitter. Bulldogs took, took game one, 14 to zero. However, in game two, their bats were silenced, losing four to one. In high school baseball, Schuyler County remained undefeated, beating La Plata 14 to one. Novinger beat Milan eight to five. North Shelby over Bashir eight to seven. Hannibal over Kirksville five to three. Centralia over Macon seven to five. And Atlanta took two over Buckland 17 to zero and 13 to zero. And in the majors, the Cardinals beat the Reds three to one. Two Indian Hills basketball players got some high praise today. Jamel McKee and Gary Rick Jr. have been named to the National Junior College Athletic Association All-Americans. McKay was selected to, to the All-American first team, and Rick's a sophomore was on the honorable mention. McKay led the Warriors in scoring and rebounding. Rick's finished his two-year IHCC career as one of the best three-point shooters ever in Indian Hills. In the Indian Hills and at Indian Hills today for the Indian Hills Legends Dinner was Iowa column commentator Ed Podolak. He commented commented on Iowa's football program and how he had some kind words to say about head coach Kurt Ferentz as he, as a coach, as well as thrilled with the way his student athletes get their work done in the classroom. The most impressive thing is the graduation rate of all of the Iowa football players. Uh, this year, I think there were 23 or 24 seniors and all of them uh, got degrees. Soccer in Iowa, Albion and Centerville. Albion put on a lot of pressure in the attack, beating Centerville 4-1. to one. Jordan Cross scored two goals for the Blue Demons. And if you're itching for some college football, on well, five days, the Truman football team will allow you to scratch that annoying itch, as this Saturday, they will host their spring football game. Saturday's game marks the conclusion of the spring camp and a chance for the team to play in front of family, friends, and the community. When the team first practiced with pads a couple weeks ago, the offense struggled. Since then, Coach Nesbitt says they've started to pick things up as of late. So they've improved greatly. Uh, uh, last week, uh, in our ones versus ones, which was about 30 snaps, I think we were 10 of 14, 70 some percent at, at uh, about 135, 140 yards, so nine, nine yards in attempt between Conrad Schottel and Taylor Breen. Both quarterbacks alternated with the ones. So the spring game will begin at 1 p.m. on Saturday.